So we're determining the tan of 11 pi over 6. So first thing I would do with this is draw a quick unit circle to figure out where we're at here. So 11 pi over 6, where does that fit into everything here? Uh, it's pretty close to 12 pi over 6. And we know that 12 pi over 6, 12 over 6 is 2 pi. So almost a complete circle, but just a little less. So 1 or pi over 6 less than that. So it'll be uh, 2 pi minus pi over 6. So that kind of helps us get a, a feel for where we're at. So if we were to draw that on a unit circle, we could say there's our line and we're going all the way around and here's where we end up. And so the angle in there would be our leftover pi over six. And now we're kind of ready to take a look at this. So let's draw in our sides here. If we have a right triangle there, um, pi over six, and we think back to our unit or our special triangle uh, where we have kind of a 30, 60, 90 or a pi over six and a pi over three and a 90 there. And the pi over six, that's gonna be our smallest angle. So opposite to that would be a one. And then we have a two and a root three. And the root three is the second biggest one and the two is the biggest one there. So helps us remember our special triangle there. And so if we were to fit this in, uh, that means that across from the pi over six, we have our one, but in this case, it's a negative one, right? Because we would be going down below that uh, X axis there. Um, we would also uh, take a look at that and recognize that we would have our root three there, and of course the hypotenuse as a two there. So we have it set out quite nicely, and we can look at that and say, all right, so that must mean that tan 11 pi over six is going to equal uh, tan opposite over adjacent. So the opposite is our minus one, and the adjacent is our root three. And uh, we have an answer and we can always double check that. Always good to stop and, and consider that and think it through. Uh, all students take calculus, if that's how you remember it. And so we look down here and we say, okay, uh, that means that the uh, cosine would be positive down there, but uh, everything else would be negative. And so we expect a negative and sure enough, we've got a negative. So uh, just to double check on that. Um, one other thing we can consider is that uh, if, if they ended up rationalizing the denominator in the answer, uh, it might show it a little bit different. So let's just make sure we, this is certainly legitimate. Um, but if we were to say root three and root three, we would end up with negative root three over root three times root three is just three. And that's another form of that same answer. And that might be the way it's, it's portrayed in your question. So make sure you know how to uh, come up with either one of those. And that's that.